everyone, Karen Adler here. Today, I'm bringing you a brief overview of what happened in the 2020 Denver real estate market and some projections for 2021 based on our team's research and analysis. The growth in the Denver market will be no surprise to most of you. And yet, there are some important data points to understand that will influence the year to come and possibly your decisions to stay put in your current home, maybe refinance, make a housing change, or consider a real estate investment or vacation home. The overall residential real estate market appreciated by approximately 9% this last year, which was slightly above the last five-year average. The sold price of the average single family home, however, accelerated in appreciation the last six months of the year and was up as much as 18% year over year in October, hitting an all time high of 614,000. Those who were homeowners the entire year may have seen as much as $100,000 in wealth creation. Much of the appreciation in home prices was due to record low inventory. The issue though was a significant increase in the number of buyers rather than a decline in the number of sellers. There were actually more homes that came to the market in six of the 12 months in 2020 as the same months over the last three years. We ended 2020 with a 7% increase in the number of homes sold and a 2% increase in the number of homes listed for sale compared to the last three year average. So why so many more buyers? Four factors in particular affected demand over the last year. One, Denver saw a modest population increase. Two, flexible work environments. And three, kids in school from home inspired housing changes for many. And four, record low interest rates. Incredibly low interest rates made more expensive homes of Denver more affordable for the average consumer, simply driving demand even higher. As an example, if you had a comfortable payment on a $480,000 home at 4.5% interest, you could have roughly the same payment on a $600,000 home at 2.5%. So what does all that mean for 2021? Our best prediction is that interest rates remain low in 2021. Some economists think interest rates could drop below 2% on a 30-year fixed loan. If they do remain low, demand will remain very, very high. And we're starting off 2021 with incredibly low inventory. The combination of high demand and low inventory means a potential double digit home value appreciation. The average economist is anticipating home values increase by about five to 7% nationwide. And the Denver market is poised to be at least as strong as the national averages. And while there are variables we can't predict, with confidence, we certainly hope that the strength in the real estate market is coupled with vaccinations that work, businesses and families recovering, and kids going back to school. For many of you, I'll be providing you with an analysis of your home value so that you know what happened in 2021 and can make the best financial decisions for your family this year. I wish you all a healthy, happy, and prosperous 2021. I'm a great resource for your real estate needs and questions. Let me know if I can help you in any way.